We're now going to look at problems that are quadratic in form still, but are a little bit harder. So let's look at 4x to the minus 2 plus 13x to the minus 1 minus 12 equals 0. So again, we look at our powers and we recognize that they're twice. We're going to let u equal x to the minus 1 and u squared equal x to the minus 2. Therefore, we end up with 4u squared plus 13u minus 12 equals 0. 4 times minus 12 is minus 48. Factors of minus 48 that add up to 13 are positive 16 and negative 3. So we then divide those by the lead number, which is 4. Reduce our fractions and change our signs. So u equals minus 4 or u equals 3 fourths. Now, x or u is x to the minus 1, so x to the minus 1 equals 4, or x to the minus 1 equals 3 fourths. The easiest way to get rid of this power is to raise both sides to the minus 1, because minus 1 times minus 1 is positive 1, so this gives me an x, and this power says I flip it, so this becomes 1 fourth, or x becomes 4 thirds, and here are my two answers. So if I have a negative, I need to flip it to get my answer. Also, if we have a rational power, we can work through the same thing. We just let notice that one-third is half of two-thirds, so we're going to let u equal a to the one-third, so that u squared can be a to the two-thirds. So now we have u squared plus 3u minus 28 equals zero. Factoring this gives u plus 7, u minus 4 equals 0. So u equals minus 7, or u equals positive 4. Replace both of these with their a's. So a to the 1 third equals minus 7. a to the 1 third equals 4. Cube both sides. And we get a equals, let's grab our calculator. We know it's going to be negative, so 7 times 7 times 7 is 343, so negative 343, or A equals positive 64. And these are our two answers when we solve this quadratic and form equation.